you can view unit lessons in Schoology in one long stream by filtering the content on the materials page. To begin, log in to Schoology with your parent account. Here I'm logged in as Gwen Finch, and I've clicked on the students and selected Jean Finch, the fifth grade student. Now I'll click on the courses link and select one of Jean's courses. The home page of the course is the materials page. On this home page, there's an option to filter um, the course content and view different parts of it. So I'm going to click on this little arrow here and select assignments. This home page of the materials um, area is the only place where you have the option to filter materials. I'm going to select assignments. All assignments will display in one long stream. This list includes assignments for all units, for all subjects, in one long stream beginning with Unit 1. To view the most current assignments, scroll down to the bottom. When you scroll down, you'll need to wait for more content to load. It may take a little while to scroll to the current unit especially as you progress through the year. Um, as much as two minutes. You'll see that little um, symbol at the bottom there when Schoology is loading more content. Take a look at the little folders on the right side. Those folders indicate that all of the lessons belong to a particular subject. So here you can see science is green. So all of those science folders are green. Um, right, um, literature is pink, writing is blue, um, math is generally purple, um, language arts is yellow. Uh, in grades TK to 2, literature and writing are included in the language arts folder, so there are no separate folders for those subjects. So keep loading, keep scrolling until all of your content loads. And again, it could take um, up to a couple of minutes. Scroll down until no additional content is loading, and then you'll know that you've reached the bottom of and the most current information. Now scroll back, you can see these are all language arts assignments in the yellow folder. Let me scroll back. Now these are writing assignments in the blue folder. I'm going to scroll back to the beginning of the writing um, lessons, so writing lesson one. I recommend that you right click on that title and open that in a new tab so that I can toggle over there and view that writing lesson number one. And I'm doing this just so I can verify that I am in unit four in the writing folder and in week one of that of the unit four writing lesson. And that just assures that I'm in the right location. I, I know that I'm in the most current unit. Now I'm gonna scroll back and I can view all of the writing lessons in order right here in this stream. I can even um, print these. I recommend that you do not print from this page because it'll print all that entire long stream and that'll be several hundred pages. So instead, I'm going to highlight the writing lessons, and I'm just highlighting, scrolling down. Okay, so that's the end of the writing lesson there. And I'm going to copy. You can then paste that into a Word document or into a Google Doc. So I have a Google Doc open here, and I'm just going to paste. And there is all of um, the writing unit um, fit on eight pages in my Google Doc. In grades seven and eight, students have separate courses for each subject area, so the stream will not be as long. Also notice that all of the um, lesson titles, these links are all live. So by clicking into any, on any of those titles, it will open the lesson in its entirety. And I do recommend you um, use this long stream as an overview and for lesson planning, but that you continue to view each lesson in its own page. 
This will ensure that you see all parts of the lesson exactly as your teacher intended.